Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my channel again. It has been a long time that I don't, I don't post any videos on my YouTube. So today we're gonna talk about something getting closer. All right. Yeah, closer. We'll do that. It's okay because uh, actually we are at McDonald's. Yep. We're gonna have a dinner together maybe. Yep. And it's quite noisy. Yeah. But it's okay. Maybe you can still hear our voice clearly. So today I'm gonna uh, make a video with one of my friends. She's such a motivation. <laughs> inspiring. Am I? <laughs> You're All such right. an inspiration, Andy. Oh, so gosh. please introduce yourself. Who are you? Hi guys, I'm Ratchin Diaz Rima. So basically you can call me Indy and I'm the student of English education department in State Islamic University of North Sumatra. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, we are classmates. Yep. And we, we, we used to go home together at night. Yeah. And we, we also um, always talk about our dreams yeah. until finally I can reach my one of dream my dreams. Top partner. Yes. <laughs> Basically, you know, a long time ago, I was really envy because of Fauza. Yes. He got the scholarship to go abroad for the extended yeah. student yeah, in Malaysia. Yeah, just for three days actually. Yeah, yeah but this, I'll have to relax. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was, I was thinking that you are really persistent yeah. to reach your dreams and to finally walk it. Because that was my first experience going abroad and at that time you haven't don't yeah. Right? yeah, and also what makes that really interesting is because Fauza just tried to make like how for a moment. All right, <laughs> Fauza just tried to make a passport. Yeah, Be even though yeah. I didn't know that I will pass this yeah. exchange or not. Again, yeah. yeah. So um, today actually Ratin D is uh, Ratin D just comes back from Australia, and we're gonna talk about that. All <laughs> right, yeah. you know. I felt so like, oh my god, Ratini, you did it. Oh, you did it. Uh, she joined, like, okay, just, I don't want to introduce this too long because let Ratini introduce what kind of program did you join and you can uh, want to, you could go to Australia freely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so basically, um, the name of this program is PPAN, atau Pertukaran Pemuda Antar Negara. How so to say that in English? Uh, Exchange. Your uh, exactly. Oh, the name, the name of my exchange yeah, program. Oh, um, we call this as IEF or Australia Indonesia Youth Exchange Program. So basically, this is a program that's funded by the Ministry of Youth and Sport of Republic yeah. of Indonesia and also the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Australia. So everything is free, and you're, you're gonna stay two months in Australia and also two months in Indonesia with 18 different youth from across Indonesia and also across Australia. So cool. Yeah. Right. So it's like cooperation between Indonesia and Australia. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So Australian students also will come to Indonesia yeah, for two months. Yeah. Yeah. So Ratini, how did you feel the first time you landed in Australia? Because that was your dream, right? Yeah, yeah. To become like, um, how to say that? Um, it's not many things. Uh, <laughs> yes, like that. Okay. I got it. So yeah. basically, at that time, I was so confused. I mean, like, is this yeah. real? Was it? Was it real or not? Because um, I was staying <laughs> at Jakarta for about four four days, and then when oh, I you stayed arrived, at Jakarta yep, four days before four days going to Australia. Before going to Australia, so we have kind of pre departure training from the Ministry yeah. of Indonesia, and then yeah. We went to Australia and then at the first time it was really cold at the time and then we did prepare any jacket because we yeah. thought that it's gonna be summer. Oh yeah. summer but yeah, it's but cold. it's summer but it's minus two degrees. Minus Celsius. two. Actually we are always summer in Indonesia. Yeah. It's the degrees about thirty four. Yeah, because Celsius. we are a, a subtropical country. Yeah, it's tropical. So basically I'm so happy and I feel so grateful so for So by the way, have you there. ever thought about okay I'm gonna go to Australia? Specifically you you dream of going to Australia as your exit oh, I, I really remember when I was a student in um, Wien and then one of our lecturer, our public speaking lecturer, Sir Yani, just asked us to, eh, no, not Sir Yani, uh, Sir Dali Monte just asked us to make the interview with Foreigner yeah. and then at the time I was interviewing the Foreigner from yeah. Australia and then since oh, yeah. that time, we just that was in that, the second semester. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yes, exactly. I was with. We were asked to hunt foreigners. Yes, right. Yeah. Exactly. So I was with. And Jerry. at that time, I think my English was terrible. I was very shy to talk to foreigners. Yes, but now your English is amazing. So started at that time, you decided, okay, I'm gonna go to Australia. Yeah, yeah. Because at that time, I just asked so many questions to that foreigner, which is. Um, he, he came from Australia and so then he you moved felt, you, You've already felt interesting in interesting yeah. with Australian yeah. culture. Yes. Yes. I really want to go to Australia since that time and then, and then, and until finally it happened. So how about um, in the next future? Uh, now you're still working with your thesis, right? Yeah, yeah. And after graduating, uh, do you have any do you have any planning to go to Australia to continue your study to the next degree? Uh, I think so. I think so. Because guys, you know, um, Indonesian and Australia are a neighbor. So we have so many cooperation in everything. Australian also word Indonesian language, right? Exactly. That, that's what makes that interesting. So do your friends at, uh, in Australia can speak in Indonesian? Yes, yes. They, like, they can speak uh, in Indonesian. Some of them just advance. Some some of them just speak in Indonesian in Basel. And the fun fact is when I was in Canberra, I teach Bahasa Indonesia too. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, St. Clair Primary School. And did they feel like interesting and excited to learn yeah, Indonesian? They're really excited to learn Indonesia because uh, Bahasa Indonesia is one of the language yeah. like they use in the class. So actually, it's not really hard for you to introduce Indonesia in Australia because they have known Indonesia quite well because um, they also learn our language, right? Not really. It depends on the city because yeah. when I was in Canberra, um, not all of the schools So you live in Canberra? Canberra. How, yes. how long? Uh, a month in Canberra and one, a month in Brisbane. A month in Canberra, a month in Sydney? Uh, a month in Canberra and then we have uh, a week uh, in Sydney for mid visit break and yeah. also a month in Brisbane. So in total, it's just like two months in a week. So it's really. How do you cool. feel meeting like foreigners? You live in Australia with Australian family. You have brother in law, is that right? Yeah. And how, how do you feel like how you can adapt yourself in the new environment with different cultures? Yeah. So. Um, I don't know. I, I feel so grateful because I, I'm a kind of like open-minded person. Is there any like culture shock? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's so many. the food and the weather? Um, I guess the biggest culture shock for me is um, the bathroom, the toilet. Oh, so in Australia, there is no water. Yeah, there is no water at all. Like so how at do all. you clean your <laughs> with <laughs> tissue? Tissue. Only tissues. So but actually, that's not. I mean, like if you if in you our region, we yeah. should use water. Yes, that's why. Right. Yes, yes, exactly. So it was like a really big, um, like fighting in my heart fighting? about that yeah. because it's like a really big culture yeah. shock. And then what I that's can do. the first culture shock. Exactly. So okay. what, how about the food? Um, the food is quite good when I stay with my family. But when yeah. the first time I arrived there, but your family is Muslim, right? Yeah, they are Muslim. Yeah, they are Muslim, yeah. but they are not practicing Muslim. But they are, they are Muslim, but they are oh, so good. Uh, do they pray? By the way, no, they didn't know how to pray, and then they didn't yeah. know how to pray. Yeah, but I they teach are them. Yeah. Oh, they, you teach them? Yeah, I how teach. To pray. I teach my brother to pray because at the time he. But was they, they know how to salat. Like, they know that it's an obligation. Yes, they know that. So Islam. yeah, basically, I don't know what is the religion of my mom. Yeah. Um, is it Christian or no? I, I don't know about that. Yeah. But my mom um, married yeah. a Muslim from Indonesia. Yeah. And then, so my brother is a Muslim because he thought that in, in Islam, yeah. uh, it, it's just like uh, the, the jet or the father just give the religion to are you. Are they able to read Quran? Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. no. Yeah. Okay. So, but you still respect one another? Of course, of course. It's really interesting because we are 18 different people from 18 different provinces yeah. from Indonesia and only me. Who got the Muslim family? Oh, really? Yeah, oh and God, both how of them. you are. Yes, I am. Both of them. The first one I got a Muslim family, but it, it's an Australian family. The second one I got the Turkish family. Yeah. yeah. Turkish family. Can you imagine? Where? Where did you do? In Brisbane. So I lived with the Turkish families for about a month. So you may have ever tasted Turkish food? Sure. How it feels? How it tastes? It's weird. Weird. Yeah, I so don't Indonesian like food is the best. Sure. Yeah, okay. 
Like your accent is like an Australian, sure. But I used to, I'm used to say like sure, oh, yeah, like, sure. like a British, because yeah. you know I love watching British videos. So sometimes I just want to change my accent to become British. Yeah. Yeah. But that's really good. Your accent is really good because I thought that the point of the language is as long as the people understand what yeah. the point is. It doesn't matter what accent you're exactly. speaking. Exactly. Yes. Just speak. Try to speak yeah. clearly. Yeah. Like. But it's really different when you speak it, when you speak in British accent and also Australian accent. It can For be. example, water. It can be water. Water. So, water. Uh, Brandon actually, you should see, she also can uh, like imitate yeah. different yeah. accent in English. Do you want to practice that? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's been a long time I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, let's speak like a British. Uh, would, just... you, would you like to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it has been 10 minutes, 38 seconds. Do you right. still want to continue making videos? Uh, probably. You have, okay, I think this uh. is it. Okay, guys, I think uh, that's all for today, but you have to give my viewers motivation. Oh, right? sure. Yeah. How do you pursue and reach your dreams? What are things inside your heart? I mean, is there any specific key or tips to keep doing and keep dreaming? Your dreams and leave it. All right, become true. It's it's kind of a really difficult question for yeah. me, but I just want to say for you guys, if you have a dream, just be and keep persistence of your dreams, and also uh, you have to make an equal between your spiritual quotient, intelligent quotient, and also emotional quotient. Emotional, yeah. Yes, because, because it's the really most important, important. I think spiritual emotions. Yes, exactly. But actually, emotional and spiritual are two things that tightly connect to each yeah, other. Yeah. Yes, and intelligence is number three. Yes, it can be improved. Exactly. Once you have a good emotional yeah. and spiritual intelligence, right? Yeah. And then? So, and, and also you have to um, think about that every day. So you yeah. have to remind yourself that you have a dream. Yes. For example, uh, I also I, I always <coughs> make like a whiteboard in front of my room and then I just wrote really? down my I also dream. Them. Yeah, I wrote like, my dream like I, I want uh, the Australian uh, Indonesia youth accent. It's program like that thing, you know, I, I make, I, I pin my language. Yes, yes, and it works. It works, by the way. It works. Yeah, and, and also, also right. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are such yeah. an active person. <laughs> like, because we're so excited. Yeah. And, and don't forget to tell about your dreams to your parents mm -hmm. and ask them to make a prayer for you. Yes. Yes. So and also, it's very important that find people around you that can motivate yeah. you and keep you like keep. Use, keep you motivated. Yeah, it's like a support system yeah, because support, you need that. Yeah. And thank you very much. This is like an appreciation like, for Fauza because uh, she's so one much. of my support system and uh, you're also one like, of my inner circle. She also gives me like positive vibes every day. Oh All my right. god, I love this light. <laughs> We have been waiting for this, but it's almost the end. It has been 12 minutes. I hope you don't feel like bored. Hey, of course, they're not. It's too much, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to learn something. And see you on my next video with different people and with different stories. And we're going to learn something new because everyone is really good. See you, bye. Bye. bye.